Hey everyone, so new year, new cut. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it though. I honestly, I don't know if I really like it, but we'll see if it grows <laughs> out a little bit more in the better direction. But anyways, today we're going to this place. Oh look, pierogies. Anyways, we're going to this place called De Cuba, De Apostrophe Cuba. And the reason why we're going here is because it's supposedly the most authentic Cuban restaurant in the city of Chicago. And where I got that from? According to. According to one of my Uber drivers who literally has lived here, I think for about 15 or 20 years. He's from Cuba, 100% Cuban. And I was asking him like, what's the best Cuban restaurant? in Chicago and he's like if you want something that tastes exactly like my mother's kitchen you have to go to De Cuba so I was like all right well here we are I think like months later we're going here Serge was wishing that the uber driver knew that he <laughs> trusted him and took him up on his recommendation so let's hope it doesn't flop but I trust the Cuban about Cuban food you know uh so we'll rendezvous once we're uh once we pick up our order I'll show you guys the exterior of the place too all right so we're here at the restaurant we just ordered a while ago, but I just got my cortito. Cortadito. Say it? Cortadito. Okay, at least cortadito. That's how I think you say it. And sure. right here, this is what's inside. It's, it's super small because it's super strong. It's very rich. It, it's pretty, it's a little bit sweet, would you say? Yeah, but it's good. There's still that very strong, that coffee flavor. So you feel there. the coffee flavor, but at the same time, it's got just a hint of sweetness and it's. It's a perfect match. Spicy red chicken on tostada mm. with beans. Look at and this. The, uh, Cubano frisca. sandwich. Let's try it out first. <laughs> it was the best. Yeah. Was the best. I love queso fresca. So meaty. Oh, yeah, it does come back to this mm. great oh. This is really good. All right, guys, so we're back to the vlog. I know we hate last time, but now we're on our way to cryotherapy. So we're basically going to be freezing. Our rear runs off, and uh, you guys already know who I'm going with, the partner in crime. Uh, but here she is. We're in Chicago as usual. Oh, that's not it. What'd you say? I see it. Oh, you see it? Where is it? You're always one. Dude, I have to squint. You're always Mr. Rendezvous with the camera. We're here now, inside, like that. This is how it looks like right here. Hi! <laughs> and she's filling out her form right now. So they literally have slippers here. There's the changing room. They literally give you a robe here too. So they said it gets super cold, super fast. And we have to change right now. And then we go in with, without the robe. Celsius, that's negative 215 Fahrenheit. And so while you're in there, like main benefits, I think she went over some in the front. But basically this is great for decreasing. <laughs> oh my god, my turn. So that was crazy. Literally freezing. Like when I say freezing, I meant I was freezing. And that was so cold. What did you think? Well, Serge wanted to go first, and I was like, okay. Because I never did this before, so I was like, okay, I'll let him go first. He went in. You didn't really act like it was a big deal once you were in there, but once I got in there, I started getting scared because I was like, <laughs> I'm getting really cold. <laughs> what it would you rate this experience? A 10 out of 10, maybe 11 out of 10. And guess what, guys? So, if you're ever in need, if you're ever in need, yeah. they do body sculpting, too. So, we're about to go to this restaurant called The Gage, which I was looking for exotic burgers in Chicago. Don't ask why. There's this one place, 
I think this is the only place that sells venison burgers. We'll be back very shortly. All right, guys, so we're at the gauge now. And this is my burger. Oh, let's uh, let's put some flash on for this thing. <laughs> you guys, he loves that. Look at this thing. It's a venison burger, too, and it's super fire. Malia got the... Honestly, it looks better with flash too. Margarita pizza, how is it? We're just flashing out all over. <laughs> how is it? Really good, honestly. And I my asked sister. them to like oh. power on the garlic and they listen to me. You know, guys, the burger. Let me, let me just show you. Robin. It's so soft. It does not taste like beef, so you know it's medicine. And the jalapeno is fire. Jalapeno. And they had a they had the sriracha aioli or what is that? It's a spicy aioli. Oh, serrano. It's pretty good. People are staring at it. I'm hungry. And, and I got a little mocha. No shame. Cheers. Gotta go. Gotta blast. <laughs> Malia was like taking a video of my cream puff and she shook the phone. Like it was like this. So, anyways. No. Wait, what? So, we got some bearded papas right here. And this is a very famous cream puff bakery, right? What would you say? Hmm? <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh. I know. Can you lick it off? Dude! I got it. I would rate it about 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. They definitely filled it up with the filling. But I also got a caramel iced coffee right here. Kind of tastes like a generic. I'd rate this coffee, iced coffee on a sound of 5 out of 10. It's not as good. You try it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's finish off this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. This is the first video of 2021. I can't believe that I'm saying that. I started YouTube in 2019 in March, so it's gonna be two, excuse me. It's gonna be two years since I've been on YouTube, so that's fun. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and bye-bye.